And this time, the UFC gets the outcome they always want. Oh, they got paid. No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. In a controversial split decision, DJ loses the belt. Cejudo goes on to become the king of cringe, a character he creates. There's a lot of politics in there, you know what I'm saying? And money talks. And if you want that money to talk, it's gonna talk. What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another banger for y'all, man. So look. We got DJ. Demetrius Johnson, the man the UFC erased. All right, about to run him up one time for the one time, man. And uh, look, a lot of y'all been saying to me uh, in my comments to react to him for a cool while, man. I did a reaction uh, to one championship. He fought uh, He fought Raw Tang. If you guys know who Raw Tang is, he fought the Iron Man, Raw Tang. And, and he got the best of Raw Tang, which you never see. Like, you rarely ever see that. Rod Tang is usually just running through cats. Like, <laughs> just running through them. But when he fought DJ, it was a whole different story. And um, I've heard of Demetrius Johnson, but I'm not super familiar with him. So I didn't know, like, he was really that guy like that. And a lot of y'all told me, bro, like, <laughs> you think Rod Tang is that guy? DJ is that guy. Like, he, he, he running through the whole division, clearing out everybody. There's nobody, there's nobody that could touch him. So we about to finally react to him for the first time. If there's other videos I should check out, um, certain fights or highlights or anything like that, get at me in the comments. Let me know. You let me know and put it in the comments, I'm going to bring it to y'all. So make sure to get up over there. And if you like the video, hit that like button, man. But let's get into it. DJ Demetrius Johnson, the man the UFC erased, brought to us by Patrick Gavia. Make sure to go run his channel up. All time UFC list. This is what you'll hear. John Jones, Anderson Silva, Ronda Rousey, Conor McGregor, GSP. But there is one name that must never be said. Whenever anybody asks me who's the best fighter in the world, you're the guy. I appreciate it, man. Who the f is that guy? Demetrius Johnson. Johnson is his name. You do not speak his name. Mighty Mouse. Demetrius Johnson's Mighty Mouse. He just has very few holes. Kicks up. Mighty Bouts. Yeah, I've watched a lot of Joe Rogan videos, and I've seen a lot of people talk about Mighty Bouts. That's how. That's probably how I'm familiar with his name, now that I think about it. Like a Thai dude mm -hmm. shoots a double leg like a good wrestling dude. It's probably right now the best ever. The best ever, yeah, I agree. He has 13 consecutive title defense. Why didn't you not mention him at all? So why is the UFC trying to erase 13 consecutive title UFC 197, Henry Cejudo needs to win in order to save the flyweight division from its biggest threat, Demetrius Johnson. You've never fought this guy, right, Henry? Uh, Cejudo. What's the game plan here, man? Just like anything else, scar their fight. People want to see fights that they're not quite sure what's going to happen, but we all know Demetrius is going to walk through them. That's yeah. how the game plan's been for the last like seven of them. You know, you, you feel that when it's a DJ fight. At the end of the night, we know he's going to get his hand raised. Do you think UFC would be happy if you beat Demetrius? Yeah. We've been talking about shutting down the flyweight division for about three years. Oh, really? Yeah. The fights aren't competitive. The media and the public accuse DJ of being bored. I think his dominance has, has shy people away. And if we got to that point, it's because of one man. The reigning, defending, 155 pound champion of the UFC, Benoit Poirier, Conor McGregor. Does this mic work? Well, that mic. <laughs> <laughs> he wants. While DJ is the champ, I will say this. You know, Dana White's all about intensity. He wants entertainment and intensity because it helps get more money to the UFC. And I'm not mad at that at all. You know, I'm more of a boxing guy versus UFC, but I've grown to like UFC more and more over the years. Um, but I'm more of a boxing guy at heart. That's just that's just what it is. Um, but a lot of times with certain fighters, you know, sometimes the boring fighters are some of the most technical and best fighters, even in boxing. You know, some of the boring guys... They're the ones that's really, they getting W's out here. You know, sometimes it's the, uh, you look at Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people didn't like the way he fought because he wasn't knocking dudes out. He wasn't, you know, nobody could hit him and people didn't like that. But he was entertaining as a personality. So that's where that trade-off happens. But, you know, a lot of the times, bro, some of the best fighters are not 
the most entertaining at all, but they do what they got to do in the ring or in the octagon or something like that. So now I'm not surprised I probably didn't hear about him enough or knew enough about him because he probably wasn't getting the publicity that he deserved. But let's continue with the video. Conor McGregor takes the UFC by storm. I love New York. I own Rio de Janeiro. They want you to give us a quick count to 10, both of you, John. They can only count to five. <laughs> when you see a guy like that that's getting so much attention talking shit, does it make you want to start talking shit? No, man. You know, that's his game. When I talk about the Conor McGregor thing, there's the complete opposite of Conor McGregor. Because you're looking for drama. That's, that's what you're looking for, right? The public doesn't expect strictly martial arts anymore. The entertainment and the drama take the front seat. There's a lot of things that True. maybe he could do in True. between fights to help promote himself. Like I got a wife and kid to worry about. And I'd rather help around the house and have stuff done and do dishes. DJ is by far the most active champion in the UFC. It doesn't matter how good you are. How many headlines can you generate? The media claims he's the pound for pound best fighter in the world. Right. I think Conor McGregor is the pound for pound best fighter in the world. People just don't know what the f It's not always about our performances, it's about how many people you can put in the seat. So what's wrong with DJ? So one, he's small. Historically, the bigger guys have always attracted the crowds more than the smaller ones. It could be my personality. I've never, you know, belittled my opponents. I've always showed respect. DJ is even branded as a nerd because he likes to play video games. What's wrong with being a nerd? Like, I'd rather be at home playing a game, clock tag, going out to a bar, drinking beer, driving home, getting a DUI, crash, and then coming home and beat my wife. I think I'd rather be the nerd that's actually playing video games. And you can think, smart dude. You know what's funny? I actually see his, his channel pops up on my home feed every day. Every day, Mighty Mouse Gaming, Mighty Mouse Gaming, Mighty Mouse Gaming. <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude, this dude, he really be gaming. Like, I'm not mad at that. I love games, bro. I'm about to get on Call of Duty after this. Like, <laughs> but it's good. He's mature, bro. And, you know, in the UFC, it's a crazy sport. A lot of people want to see crazy because it's a crazy sport. Um, but he's living more of a stand-up, you know, mature life. I, I gotta commend him. I gotta commend well, him. Well, DJ can make an effort to be controversial and dramatic once in a while, but when it comes to him, it goes much deeper than that. You've never had a relationship with your father? Yep. Has he ever reached out to you? Nope. Never seen a picture, never seen nothing. He's raised by a single mom who picture. struggles to find stability. Married multiple times to a different military man, so there's not that stable life. I had an abusive stepfather who was, you know, military based. He would come out there and put us in the corner, put our hands up, military style, and just we would just stay there for hours and hours, getting whipped. And DJ grows Damn. up completely unaware that his mother is deaf. a real skill to focus on just reading lips and not letting anybody else around her know that she was dead. DJ what? copes with everything that's going on by playing video games and watching Pride FC on TV, a Japanese mixed martial arts promotion. I did my own thing, but my- He didn't know his mom was dead until he was 14? I don't know, like, it's just hard to understand that, bro, like, Shout out to his moms. Just shout out to his moms, you know. Shout out to his moms, bro. Cause that 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 I, I don't even know how to like fathom that really. You know what I mean? Like you didn't even know till you were 14, and that just shows how good his mom was. Whether I don't even know if she was speaking. Maybe she could speak, maybe she couldn't. I don't really know. Um but for her to be able to raise their kids until they were 14 and for them not to even realize she was deaf just blows my mind completely. My friends were wow. doing drugs, oxycodone, weed, and all that stuff, and partying. I was still the guy doing school, working, dating my, my future wife at the time, and training mixed martial arts by myself. We were hustlers. That's what we were doing. We were work grinding three, two, three jobs. And I remember when we were pregnant with our first son. He goes, I'm nervous because I don't know what a father does. Being a good father who's present, leading by example, providing wow. financial stability to his family, those are all things that DJ grew up without. Me and my wife were trying to break the cycle of you no know, divorce, be there for our kids our whole life. I don't want my children to suffer the same thing. He doesn't want to go back working three, four jobs, not be able to put food on the table. At the end of the day, it's about being able to take care of your family, pay your bills. You know, those are things that I think some people take for granted. And for us, it's very, very serious. Yo, I'm sorry for all the pausing, but it's just, this is crazy. Because when I was younger, you know, my pops didn't grow up with his, with his dad. You know what I mean? I didn't even know my real grandfather until like three years ago. I'm 30 right now. So until I was like 27, 
26, I didn't know who my real grandfather was. Like, my dad's dad. My dad got a stepdad. And that's the group, my, like, that's how I see it. My grandfather is my dad's stepdad, right? But when I was younger, my pops would always tell me, like, bro, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm figuring all this out, so, like, bear with me. You know, I'm still learning how to, you know, be the, a good father and all that type of stuff. You know, he would always say, you know, this is, I didn't really get, I didn't really learn from an example. So, I'm trying, you know now so forgive me if i ever make mistakes etc etc you always told me that when i was younger growing up and stuff so i'm like you know what i mean i get it i get it so here we are the fight against henry Cejudo. Wow. despite all the adversity that dj's been through to become the champion the public wants dj to lose because he's not entertaining let that thought sink in for a second this is what our culture values that's it that's it that's the best pound-for-pound pound fighter ever. Damn. And the tension between the UFC and DJ starts ramping up even more. I'm not thrilled with Demetrius Johnson. He has the lowest selling pay-per-view in the history of the UFC. In a desperate attempt to save the flyweight division, the UFC tries to force DJ to accept the fight against TJ Dillashaw. Maybe the best UFC bantamweight of all time. Did they threaten to just abolish the division if you didn't take this fight? Yeah. There was never a threat to him. Oh, we're gonna get rid of the division. That was complete bull. But Dillashaw fights at 135 pounds. DJ is at 125. Ooh, that's a big difference. Out, deny the fight. And I don't understand it. I would like to know why. Demetrius is worried that the UFC will pressure him into fighting TJ, even if TJ doesn't make the weight. Is Demetrius Johnson ducking you? I, I do believe so. Dillashaw calling me every day. Do I got the fight? Do I got the fight? He's got that target on his back, like you said, and I'm chasing him down. And, and while DJ continues to dominate the division, Cejudo becomes obsessed with beating him. I still believe I could beat him. I understand Demetrius Johnson more. And this time, the UFC gets the outcome they always want. Oh, they got paid. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. In a controversial split decision, DJ loses the belt. Cejudo goes on to become the king of cringe, a character he creates. There's a lot of politics in the, you know what I'm saying? That money talks. And if you want that money to talk, it's going to talk. And if you know that the, the, if you know the matrix is against you, you know what I'm saying? You cannot let the matrix, you cannot put your fate in the matrix hands. You got to become Neo and take it, you know, make him submit, knock him out, something. Because if not, guess what? The Matrix will take it from you. Real fucking shit. Politics and money talks in everything. Damn. To avoid DJ's fate. Now, Cejudo's story deserves to be told in a separate documentary, which I'll do in the future. So make sure you subscribe if you want to watch it. I don't think there's nothing left for me to prove here in North America. Done it all. So why not take the opportunity to get out of my contract? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go travel the world and compete somewhere else. He demands to be released from his contract with the UFC. To be considered the best to ever do it, or you gotta compete all around the world. News broke. Ben Askren to be traded to the UFC in exchange for Demetrius Johnson. Ben Askren. take Mighty Mouse, and we get Ben Askren. Sounds like we're going to Singapore. One championship. Singapore is a sovereign island country in Southeast Asia. So tiny, you can drive across the island in just an hour. Because of its advantageous location in the middle of a trade route between Europe and Asia, it's always been an international trading hub with a really strong economy. We're one of the highest average incomes in the world, ahead of countries like Germany, France, and Japan. Wow. Singapore also holds the biggest fighting promotion in Asia, one championship. They're Fire. literally the equivalent to the UFC in Asia. So They're dope. They're a huge organization overseas. They have real high-level fighters. The company was founded in 2011 and is different from the UFC in many ways. We're talking about different rule set, a different approach to weight cutting, and also different divisions with a mix of MMA, Muay Thai, and kickboxing belts. So then you, you have a whole new area and territory. I don't know, I feel like there's so many endless opportunities over there. And little does DJ know, there's a bunch of killers waiting for him.
Little piranha. The sweeper. So it came out. The king. That's a heavy name. It took him out. Black diamond. Ooh, 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 Black Diamond, oh shit. <laughs> oh, she did a backflip. Oh shit, Black Diamond. Wins and losses happen in mixed martial arts. But at the end of the day, I hope you can be focused on taking care of what matters most, which is your family. DJ wants to get back to his feet as quick as possible. And one championship, throws another savage at him. Rob Tang oh, is a really high prodigy. He accumulated over 250 wins before he turned 21. Damn. He's also the champion of the Muay Thai flyweight division. One championship organizes a special rule super fight between Rob Tang and DJ. Rounds one and three are Muay Thai. Rounds two. I've reacted to this fight. If you want to see my reaction, just look it up. Demetrius Johnson versus Rob Tang, rare soul worldwide. You'll find it, bro. But I did react to this fight. Who went for our MMA? So all DJ has to do is survive the first round. Here we go! Rotate immediately comes forward, and DJ's in his body. Oh, he switches up with Rotate. Front kick from DJ. Body shot from Rotate. Big left hook from Rotate. He's circling into the power side of Rotate. Now goes the opposite way. Oh, oh After he Rear beats Rob Tang, one championship sets up the rematch against Adriano Moraes. And as DJ is getting ready to face Moraes, guess who decides to help him? Saruto? That's a full circle moment. Are you the best fighter in the world? I'm working on it. I'm working on Not it. Not quite there yet? Not quite there yet. I, I still got a lot of stuff to do. Dog, I think I just became a major Demetrius Johnson fan. I think I just became a super D D Demetrius Johnson fan. I'm about to... I don't even, I'll, let me know what to react to, because I want to react to more videos of him, because I'm going, if you don't tell me videos to react to, I'm going to watch them anyway, and I ain't going to react to them after I watch them, so send me videos, I think I just became a major fan of DJ, I'm surprised I didn't know more about him, I've heard about him, like I said, from the Joe Rogan interview, stuff like that, but I don't think I ever really tapped in with him, and knew his, and I definitely didn't know his story. So that's crazy. Uh, if there, if the fight with Adrian Morales already happened and there's highlights up, let me know so I can do a reaction to that. Um, and that's pretty much it, bro. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare, bro. Always reaches everyone. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace.